Back on the State Farm Talent Conference game of the week, 52 to 18, the final score here in Conway, Arkansas. The Bears win their conference opener over the Colonels of, from Nichols to get this conference season off and running. An impressive performance as Shea Walker by Central Arkansas. We'll break it down with the highlights and stats momentarily. Right now, let's go down to the field. Let's check in with Aaron Cofield standing by with the winning head coach. Coach, we'll start with the big picture question. 1-0 and in conference play, how important is that? Uh, very important. You know, that was today's goal by any means necessary. Let's find a way to be 1-0 after today. Very pleased with the way that the guys uh, came out and accomplished that. Now, it wasn't the prettiest of games, but uh, we are 1-0, and uh, we played some pretty games. You know, we played halfway pretty against Texas Tech and didn't play well. I will take the W any time. And uh, so, you know, a lot of mistakes that we need to get corrected, but we won by 34. We're 1-0. Please, let's move on and let's get better and let's take care of the next one. And able to see that you've got several different options at that quarterback position, getting some experience. Yeah, you know, uh, Ryan came in, played well, and then Taylor uh, did a good job. And uh, we wanted to get Hayden a chance to play because he's – Outstanding quarterback, great athlete, and uh, we just had not had the opportunity to get him in. And uh, he did a great job, led us on a couple of touchdown drives, got his first passing touchdown, and then led us on a, another touchdown drive. So very pleased with the play of all three quarterbacks. All right, congratulations. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Randy? All right, Aaron, appreciate it. Uh, we do want to mention this is uh, Aaron Cofield's final broadcast with us. We will miss her. She's been doing oh, the yeah. Southland games for three years. Uh, she's moving on to a great opportunity in the state of Vermont in local television. Aaron, we're going to miss you. Thanks, guys. I'll miss you, too, when it's snowing and it's all chilly. But <laughs> when it's hot and humid, I'll be sitting pretty. Well, best of luck to you. We'll miss you. Thank you. Let's talk about uh, today's uh, ball game, Shay. Run through some of the highlights again. 52-18, uh, to 18, the final UCA. Taking care of business on the home turf today. Well, and the Bears doing it very early with Beasley, and this is a, a run-oriented, dominated drive where they just kind of crash in and started running the ball. Willie Matthews gets his chance at it. And then the defense for UCA, which is wreaking havoc all game, comes up with a big play. Stop on a fourth down, they get the fumble recovery, and they come over the top of Lewis with a touchdown. And just a very dominant point. And we've talked about this a couple of times in broadcast, right? but something that's going to serve this Bear team extremely well getting into conference play is the, is the play of their offensive line and how well they did today. And not only protecting those quarterbacks, but also creating lanes for the running backs. Balanced attack. Uh, when you look at the stats for UCA, Shea, Rush yards 220 passing 267 that's about as even as you can get it you can and you look at the turnovers so there are a couple of things and you heard coach Campbell say that you know it's kind of an ugly win but it was one that we'll take we're one to know in conference play get some of those penalties some of those turnovers get those things cleaned up you're going to be all right all right let's take a look at the Southland Strong player of the game a lot of candidates today but I think the no doubt the Southland Strong player of the game is Ryan Howard, he came in and really ran the show offensively. Yeah, he did, Randy, and it's kind of a dual quarterback system here at UCA, so both these guys can step in and play, but Howard's numbers, you said 15 to 19, not a bunch of yards, effectively managing it, though, executing that run game, and those two touchdown passes really made a difference. All right, so UCA gets the victory, 52 to 18, 1 and 0 in conference play. Nichols with the loss, 0 and 1 to start conference play. Time to regroup as they head back home to Thibodeau, Louisiana. And they'll get a week to prepare for their date with McNeese State. That'll do it. The final once again from Conway, 52 to 18. We'll see you next time.